What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3. We're going to be diving in today with some more Peyton Benjamin. Before we get into the fight though, some news has broken out via Ariel Hawani. There has been rumour that Peyton Benjamin has been messing with Joseph Benavidez's girlfriend, aka Megan Alevi. Very, very interesting rumours starting to circulate. A new story from Ariel Hawani has been posted to his Twitter and it says, Breaking news, a fight broke out in Maestro's Steakhouse. As Joseph Benavidez, I can't even speak. Joseph Benavidez and Peyton Benjamin got into a physical altercation as there were two teams got into a huge fight which caused chairs and tables to be thrown. Joseph Benavidez, I can't even say his name. Joseph Benavidez and Peyton Benjamin then got into a fist fight. The UFC is denying the story and Benavidez appears to be unreachable. But we've spoken to Peyton Benjamin and he told us that after the fight in the restaurant, Joseph Benavidez wasn't the champion anymore. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> explained, uh, explained Peyton Benjamin with a smirk on his face after the incident in the Maestro Steakhouse. Also, another story coming in. Peyton Benjamin has also said, Fuck Maestros. They blamed him for the whole altercation. And he now wants a sponsorship with Applebee's. We're going to be diving in though to some more Peyton Benjamin. He has a fight against Mastiff de Graf, I think it is. And uh, he's still a contender. And a very interesting thing about this is Peyton Benjamin is definitely... A, uh, he's, he's definitely one of these big, big guys in the division, you know. A lot of people are talking about him. He's making waves in the division. Of course, this has caused some friction with Dana White. I don't know if that is why Peyton isn't getting many big fights. Of course, fighting another, like, low-level fighter here in his ninth professional fight. Peyton Benjamin is screaming for some competition. He's screaming for these big fights, and Dana White is denying him. Dana White wants him to lose one of these fights where he is not a big fighter and uh, then Peyton Benjamin could get cut from the UFC. I feel like Dana White is definitely going to have a good job at trying to cut Peyton. But Peyton is going to deny that. He's going to beat everybody up in this this career. And here we go. Martin de Graaf. He is next. I'm looking forward to this. Again, giving Peyton Benjamin an interview, he said all he's going to work on is wearing this motherfucker down. That is literally all he said when it came to his fight. And here we go. Benjamin already. The pressure... You gotta remember, man, Peyton Benjamin never been dropped, never been rocked. And he is just mauling people in here. He is really just beating them up. Now the talent level should get better. Dana White is gonna have to give Peyton a big fight very, very soon. Let me know if you like the news story at the beginning of the episode. I kinda of wanna include that a little bit more when it comes to like a a you know. I just feel like it makes it a little bit more realistic. We can kind of sculpt the story a little bit more. There is definitely a rivalry there between Benavidez and Benjamin already. And he's not even in the top 15. And Benavidez seems to be bothered so much about Peyton Benjamin, you know? And here we go. We got we got Benjamin doing what he does best, man. Coming forward. And just really, really loading up. Head kick there. He faked that. He faked that. De DeGraff, I think, thought it was going to the body. He is getting off some huge punches nice here. movement there from Peyton. The Very good boxing. Nice. And he's starting to land clean. He's starting to tee off on this dude. Oh, I think we take him to deep waters. And I think we stop him. Nice. Peyton Benjamin gave that prediction. Said he's going to just wear him down. And that will be the end of that. Okay. Already he's back in there being a gangster. Right hook to the head block. Nice knee to the body. Peyton does throw that knee very well. Finds his range with the nice jab. right hand there. Got you. Try to Got you again. And he, and he is just in there, there. Styling on him, bro. I mean, the hand speed just Let's go. He's nice. He's, he's a savage, man. Well, he established the jab nice knee. And going right back to the well here. Got nice. him moving on him. And already we're seeing Peyton really, really push a pace. Whipping the body with the kicks. Bad angle there for Peyton, but there you go. And he is pushing the pace. We know this kid can fight all day long. He's done it all his life, man. Nice cut there. Peyton cutting him. Nice left hand. Okay. I want to know how many he's thrown this round, bro. Okay. And he is bombing on. A lot of people love Peyton Benjamin for his style. They know he just bombs on. Got an incredible gas tank. Nice. Beautiful. Got caught with the kick there, though. Nice head movement to get out of the way of that strike coming back, though. Very good first round. Benjamin's won this first round just by onslaught, you know? 
Oh, the knee. And Benjamin drops him at the end of the round and flexes on him. What a savage. Let's go. Back to the corner. Nice knockdown at the end of the round there. And a massive cut over the eyes of the graph. Very, very good start to the fight for Peyton Benjamin. And we're ready for round two. You know what we're going to be doing. Peyton Benjamin running at him. Well, most fighters can't keep Straight on him with the pressure. And pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed He is a cardio freak, man. Right on the oh, oh, he's getting tagged. And he says, let's go. Is that it? Well, the owner of he is getting tagged. He says, let's go. You got me. But is that it? Let's go. He says his health is he is insane. He for this fighter, still a developing fighter. He is Amazing. Peyton Benjamin might be the most like savage fighter we've fought, man. He is insane. The jab hook combination there working well. Something we do need to work on, I can feel with Peyton, is his speed. He was very fast in the early, like, first half of his career, I guess you could kind of say. Kind of go upstairs. The grass having some more success here. He's moving very well and he's making Peyton miss. It isn't going to really matter for Peyton. He's got stamina for days, but... There we go. Beautiful combination. Clinch. You've done with the clinch with Peyton either. He's very good in the clinch. Let's get single. Knee to the body there. And he's going to just attack that body, you know? He's going to rip that body because he really wants... And he's in the Muay Thai clinch. Really wants to damage the stamina here. He wants to tire this man out. He's got the plum here. Beating up that body. Slip it in with an elbow there. Man has his chin been tested nice front kick there for the graph. Straight at him. Bro, what a fight. I think we could, we expected this, though, surely. Every fight Peyton is in. The slugfest. Nice, that'd have been good. McGrath bloodied up. Nice, beautiful shot. The graph is hurt. And already, look at him. He's tired, man. He is tired. Oh. Get up. Get up. He is tired. Oh, nice kick there from DeGraff. But then big moves. They're going to cost you stamina even more, man. Oh, nice. Okay. He could have gone for a takedown there. He would have completely got me as well. Benjamin really, really beating him up now. Front kick to the body. Okay. And he is just on him. This kid's a plague, bro. You can't get rid of him. He's just staying on you. Down again. Beautiful shot. Beautiful knockout. And Peyton Benjamin does it again. Round two. The end of the round. Watch this knockout. This kid is something special. Wow. And he is screaming in the camera. Where you at, Benavidez? Where you at? I'm the real deal. Wow. Wow. That was an amazing knockout. Watch the head movement. Boom. Out cold. There was no need for the follow-up strikes, but Peyton Benjamin threw them anyway. Boom. One of the best knockouts I've done in this channel, I believe. But Let's see that again. Styled on him. Moved the punch. Boom. Boom. Out. Cold. The last gangster. 9-0. and oh. Another finish tonight. tonight. And there he is. The styling on him again. Peyton Benjamin. Screaming for Benavidez. Screaming for Cejudo. Screaming for Demetrius Johnson. He is ready for the big time, he says. And a big win against DeGraff. He says, where are these real fighters, man? He said, they're not real fighters. They're businessmen. They don't want to fight. And there we go there. Peyton Benjamin, still undefeated, 9-0. Never been rocked. Something that's very interesting about his career. He's never been rocked. Never been dropped. He, he has an incredible chin, incredi incredible cardio. I don't know if anyone is going to be able to beat him. I think maybe when he gets to bantamweight, if he does get to bantamweight... I think there are going to be some problems there for him. And Megan Olivi, you're causing some more controversy here, Megan. Proved to be the real deal. Can't wait to see what's next. I'll fight whoever's next. Got to enjoy this one, and then I'm going to start looking. Okay, we're going to go with that. I'm ready for anyone. That kind of makes sense with Peyton saying he wants anybody in the division, you know. Kind of goes down that storyline a little bit further. But, dude, 
Peyton Benjamin is ready for the big time. I feel like we need a big fight now. 9-0. We're still not ranked in the top 15, and I do feel like Peyton Benjamin is going to start to be crawling towards a title shot very, very soon. But again, a very good fight for him. And again, we're not really getting these big opponents. Dana White is really putting a stop to Peyton Benjamin getting some big fights and getting some big wins on his record. We're going to go... Who should we go for? This dude's 5-3. 5-4. 5-4. We'll go for the 5-3 and three dude. The less losses, I guess. But this dude is up next. Kate Pratt, I believe his name is. Yeah, we're, go we're going to see if we can take him out. 9-0, the 5-3. I feel like Peyton should be fighting guys now like Sergio Pettis. Maybe some of those guys, you know, some really big, big names in the light. Well, I wouldn't say big names, but you know what I mean. Like names that are... That are around the top 15, like the, the bottom 15 of the, the division. Maybe even like some that aren't ranked. We beat The only real fighter we've beat is Ben Yuggen. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, there are so many fighters in this division we need to get a fight over. Uh, like Brandon Romano, that fight is happening definitely. But the rest of them, it's all up in the air. But anyway, we're going to rock and roll. We're going to get into the next fight and hopefully another brutal finish for Peyton Benjamin. Let's go. Here we go, man. Another really like a fight that I, I feel like Peyton does start to need to get some big fights now. He's going to be 10 and 0 if he wins this fight. And he's only really beat a, one big name in the UFC. Dana White is really not pushing Peyton at all. But here we go. We're going again. We are in the blue corner for this one. Let's rock and roll. Already looking to pressure. This dude is, I feel like he's still pretty good. He's not a big name, you know. Let's go. It's time. It's time for Peyton to really, really... There we go. He really does need to start getting some fights in, man. He needs to start getting these big names in. Peyton did give an interview to Ariel Hawani again and said it is ruining his career. Dana White, Uncle Fester, he's just... It's just ruining his career, you know? Alright, here we go. Stuff that takedown. Now, this dude is a grappler. I don't want to get tangled up on the ground with him too much. When he does take me down, though, I'm looking to land a few shots. Come on, man. What do you got? That's it. Okay. Peyton looking faster. Looking a lot faster, this fight. I think we waste him down again, man. I feel like we... You know, we wear him down up against the fence. We give him some trouble. Okay. Knee. Nice. Peyton just eats it, man. He's probably got one of the best chins in the division, if not the organization. That boxing for Peyton there. Beautiful head movement. Gets a takedown. Okay, now we're going to see this dude's grappling. See what he's about. Back up. It, well, it wasn't great, let's be honest. Peyton so Benjamin in Southport there. Clips him with a head kick. Nice leg kick. Okay. Well, Top of the body. Into Moved it into the knee. Right nice head movement there. Got him out of trouble. Let's see if he adjusts here moving forward. Is that it? Is that all you got? Took him down though. He was styling on him. Nice takedown there from Pratt. Nice head kick from Benjamin. Good jab there from Peyton, man. He's got a really good jab. Body kick. Really swung for the fences. Nice. But misses. Oh, he clipped him there. Oh! Boom, boom, boom. Nice takedown. This dude, he's shooting for the fences, man. Peyton Benjamin in there talking to him. He's saying, let's go, pussy. Let's go. Nice. I feel like Peyton's struggling a little bit in this one just because we're constantly focusing on the takedown, not like attacking him in loads of different ways. Peyton, they're putting it all together nicely. Oh. And this is it, man. He will push a pace. Look at these. Let's go. Nice. Dropping up that lead leg as well. He does get taken down again. Peyton Benjamin's grappling is not great. It's not terrible. It's not great. Could be the way to beat him. Try to reverse the clinch. We did manage to reverse it there, but it was a bit too late in the uh, in the round. I must have said the fight. A bit too late in the round there. Peyton Benjamin, though, teeing off on him a little bit. I feel like we need to get him up against that fence a little bit more. And look at him, man. Fresh as a daisy. Just jumps back on the stool. He's all good, man. He's having the time of his life in here. Here we go again. Round two. Let's go. Again, straight at him. Doesn't care, man. He, he could go for days. Nice. Leg kick is there. Peyton. 
Yeah, it's it's freak. Bro, they it's are just like onslaught cheap. fucking punches like here, man. It's crazy. Okay, shoots again. There. Nice. Take the back here a little bit. And he's gonna try to take the back. Start teeing off on him. I thought we landed that last shot there, but there you go. Peyton Benjamin back to his feet. And they will say about this fight, they will say Peyton Benjamin is easy to get down, but they, what they fail to mention is he gets up, you know? He is up very easily. Here we go. Stuffed. Nice. Back in the head kick. Okay, he came in. He just jabbed. He jabbed the face off of you. It's crazy. Nice inside nice. leg kick. Very nice. Pratt has done a better job on the outside, though. You know, moving. He just ate like a four punch combination there, but let's ignore that. <laughs> I think we still take this man out. I think we wear him down. Okay. Oh! Buzzed him with that shot. That was nice. Hayden Benjamin now looking for the kill. Let's go. Take down the fence on point tonight for the last yes, gangster. Yes, to here. And they're a little bit dirty, them shots, man. Just behind the head there. It's a little bit, a little bit suspect. Let's go. What do you got, man? Come on. Well, he has landed some good shots Benjamin tonight, just so, eating these shots. He does not fear this man. Any solid here we go. This is this classic is Peyton Benjamin style here. So Beat up the body. Up the tempo Trying to get that elbow there. There it is. That is more classic Peyton Benjamin here. And from here really wearing down that body. Oh, oh, he's done he's got him here. Charging up that shot there too. And again, oh, nice. worn down. We gotcha. Come on. Peyton Benjamin. This dude isn't going to come forward. He doesn't want this. Oh, the uppercut. Gotcha. Sit down, boy. Let's go. He's not, he isn't going to want to stand. Come on, man. Meet me in the middle. Meet me in the middle. Stand and bang. Let's go. All he wants to do is shoot. He wants to survive this fight. Fox elbows on the bottom from Benjamin. And he still gets up. He could have just laid on his back for a few uh, few seconds there. Tried the body kick there. That would have been nice. There we go. Looking in them leg kicks. And this dude is exhausted. He is exhausted. Look at him. He is not there. Benjamin. Boom. Boom. This kid is a beast. Let's look at that from a different camera. This dude isn't there. He's not, he's not. He's he's done. He's spent round two and he's done. No one pushes the pace like Peyton. No one. And we're about to see it again. I feel like we're going to stop this dude late. Let's go. And we are back for our third and final round. Touch gloves there. At the end of that round, his opponent. That's because he knows he's about to get his ass beat. Look, to start this round off look fast at that man. To pick up where he left off. Well, he continues. Oh. This could be it right here. Beating on him. He's done. He's done. No follow-up. Lot strikes needed, but Peyton Benjamin says otherwise. Another finish. The last gangster does it again. Yeah, Joe. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. Can this kid be stopped? More flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. I don't think so. Near perfect execution on the strike. All over. Results in the KO here tonight. All over. That was a beautiful shot there. Boom. On his way down, uppercut cracks him. He lands these follow-up strikes. They're not needed. The dude's out cold, but from another angle here. Here is the he throws them anyway. That lands right Again, on the, the microphone, Dana White. You need to give me Look a big fight, man. Beautiful. Boom. And then the uppercut. Sending him out. Peyton Benjamin does it again, man. I want to see the strikes. He threw a total of 252 strikes compared to his opponents who threw 123. He is fucking doubling these punches up, man. He is doubling the punch stats. And that is why he's having so much success. This kid is just destroying people. He's mauling them. You don't, you can't get him off you. He's always on you. 
And I feel like he's got such a good chin where you can't even crack him and get him out of there early. He, he's going to be on you. If you fight Peyton Benjamin, you are in for a rough night, you know. And uh, it, it's going to be a war if, if you do fight him and uh, you manage to get some success. He's going to come back and try and take you out. It's insane to think he's never been rocked. That is actually crazy to me. But another finish for Peyton Benjamin there. Uh, he's 10-0 and now. And this kid is something special. I believe he's got nine finishes in uh, in his career. So that is crazy. Who is next? I'm probably going to end the video in a second. But please, can we get a big fight? Can we get a big name now? Payne Benjamin said he's had enough of crushing cans. Give him someone with a little bit of credibility. You know, he's got Brandon Moreno on the high, like on, on the horizon. Thiago Silva, which is actually a footballer, which is kind of interesting. Uh, six and five. Uh, we have Bennett Mejia, uh, who is five and four. And Ben Yuggen, we could fight him again. That would be an interesting fight. Should we give this dude a rematch? Should we take him out again? I mean, he's 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 still better in terms of grappling and striking. I disagree because we knocked him out last time, but there you go. Anyway, yeah, what I think I'm going to do is end today's video here. If we do give that Ben dude a rematch, we will have two fights realistic on the bouts. We have the Ben Yugen fight, or Yuggen, however you say his name, and then Brandon Moreno straight after, which is the rival fight for rank four. Uh, if you see there, the total fights on the contract. So, yeah. Ben, uh, I feel like we could take him out again. And I feel like Brandon would be an interesting one. And then I think if we beat Brandon Moreno, we do break into the top 15. So, obviously, that is something we definitely want to do. Peyton Benjamin, probably the best record in the flyweight division at the moment. 10-0, undefeated. We've got some more guys in here. John Moraga, wouldn't mind that fight. Uh, again, there's a few fighters in here. A lot of these guys are bots. we got... Uh, is Eddie Wineland a thing? Uh, Dustin Ortiz in there as well. We got, uh, who else, man? Let's have a look. We got Ben Ugan, who we've already beat. I don't know why we're trying to fight him again. Yeah, he's ranked 15, Brandon Moreno. Then we got some other guys in here who are mainly bots, to be honest. Where are all the fighters, man? What the hell? Juicy F Omega, Ready, uh, Ray Borg in there. It really is bots up until, like, rank four, which is interesting. We got Formiga, we got Borg, Cejudo, and Johnson. And Benavides, quite a like a badly stacked division. This division is going to be a lot different, though. We got T.J. Dillashaw, Cody Garbrandt, John Dodson, Jimmy Rivera, a Sun Cow, uh, Wineland, Cruz, uh, 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 Johnny Eduardo. We got Thomas Almeida in there, Aljamain Sterling. Uh, I, th I think probably Sugar Shawn O'Malley will be in there as well. It's going to be a very interesting career that one but anyway guys what i'm gonna do is end today's episode here hope you have enjoyed it if you have and you want to see more smash the like button comment and subscribe and i will see you for more ufc 3 next time so awesome guys have a good one and i'll see you all again in the next video